Max is here now with sports. You understand the cancellations, but you can't help but feel bad for the seniors especially, uh, but all the athletes involved yep, in and state basketball. You know, and, and, and some of the coaches I talked to today said, hey, they said 250 people or less. We thought we had gotten it down to that number so that we could play on, but you're still within six feet, and there's all these things and nobody really understands and, it, so confusion yeah. leads to a lot of just depressing down moments. It you is. Just, you, yeah. and, the, and the teams that went the furthest lost the most in this thing. They sure did. And you just feel for them. And I was out of school today, and you, your, your heart just goes out. You hard to keep a dry eye as you watch yeah. them try to function. All that hard work. All that hard work. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, it's over to the girls' state basketball tournament and the boys' basketball season have been canceled. The boys in the section final phase, the girls in the state semi and championship rounds. They tried to make it work. Yesterday, they allowed fans to attend. They had moved to minimize crowds and play on. But last night and into the morning in their conversations, they decided it was time to terminate the seasons. A very difficult decision. As we continue to study the information and and hear from the Department of Health that we are making a transition from containment to commu uh, community mitigation of, uh, of transfer of disease, uh, that we, we need to continue to take further steps and to try to be as consistent as we can with what we're doing. For some select schools, that affects both the boys and girls teams. At De La Salle, the girls were preparing to play in the state championship game again. The boys just qualified for state last night by winning a section title. Today, those two teams were to reduce the street clothes after school and team meetings. A lot of tears shed here and in many schools today, understanding that a dream season had come to an abrupt end, understanding there are bigger concerns in this world, but it still hurts a lot for any of the high schools still competing. It was heartbreaking, but, you know, um, I just try to stay strong for my team, you know, try not to cry so I could be there for them when they need that shoulder to lean on. So, I don't know, it's just, like, really stressful with all of it, and it's, like, a lot at once. I actually told my kids last night in the section finals that uh, this might be our last opportunity to play for a championship and that we should cherish this moment just in case we didn't get that opportunity. Uh, we played a really, really good game. Uh, had great moments together, and then we prayed after the game, actually, to get a chance to play in the state tournament. And uh, just to find out that it didn't happen uh, it was devastating.